Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin and today we're going to be looking at the GDX 970, the uh, step down from the GDX 980. Now there is no reference model GDX 970, so the one I have here is the uh, MSI Gaming 4G which features their Twin Frozer 5 cooler. Uh, so let's get into it and see what this GDX 970 can bring to the table. First, let's talk about some of the specs and features that come with the GDX 970. So it's got the exact same GPU as the 980, the GM204 Maxwell GPU, that's a 28 nanometer GPU. However, it's coming in with 20% fewer CUDA cores and texture units than the 980. However, it has the exact same amount of memory, so that's 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 at 7010 megahertz on a 256-bit memory bus. Now it's also coming in with slightly lower clock speeds, but it has the same features of uh, improved memory compression and uh, caching, that's to make up for its 256-bit memory bus. Dynamic super resolution or uh, super sampling anti-aliasing, which renders the scene at a higher resolution and then downscales it for better graphics quality. Multi-frame anti-aliasing or MFAA, which is much more efficient version of MSAA and doesn't take as much GPU. And VXGI illumination technique, which isn't out yet but will be available further down the road. Looking at the Twin Frozer 5 cooler, we see it has this MSI badge up here which does illuminate. The two Torx fans, these work independently of each other and have a bulge on every second fan blade that reduces noise but also increases airflow through the heatsink have their Super Su heat pipes which have improved efficiency and their Zero Frozer technology which is uh, when the graphics card is below 60 degrees Celsius I believe uh, the fans will turn off completely so you'll have silent operation for most of your graphics card use. Looking now at the rear O, we see a single display port HDMI 2.0 port uh, which means that you can do 4K at 60 Hz single DVI-I and DVI-D connections. Looking at the back of this MSI Gaming 4G GDX 970, we see that it doesn't have a backplate, has a single 6-pin and 8-pin power connections, and the SLI fingers. Now you're only going to be able to do triple SLI with the 970, although you will be able to do quad SLI with the 980. So let's get into the benchmarks and see what this MSI GDX 970 can really do. I decided to put it up against the EVGA classified GDX 780 and uh, the highest clock speeds, obviously both of the cards were using GPU Boost 2.0. Uh, this one went up to a highest clock speed of 1316 MHz and the uh, classified GDX 780 from EVGA went up to 1123 MHz, so keep that in mind. Now, the first test I did was Unigen Heaven. This is DirectX 11, 1080p, everything maxed out. The GDX 970 scored 55.3 frames per second average. The EVGA classified GDX 780 scored 57.5 frames per second average. So, about two frames there better for the 780. Now, heaven again, this is in OpenGL, once again 1080p, everything maxed out. The GDX 970 scored 50.7 frames per second average. The classified GDX 780 scored 54 frames per second average. So, around about 3 frames there, better for the 780. Now, onto some games. This is Tomb Raider. Um, everything maxed out 1080p without VSync. The GDX 970 scored 82.8 frames per second average. The GDX 780 scored 82.2 frames per second average. So the GDX 970 there narrowly beating out the 780. And lastly, Bioshock Infinite, this is on user setting two. The GDX 970 scored 116.8 frames per second average. The EVGA classified GDX 780 scored 115.2 frames per second average. And also keep in mind that this 970 is on uh, NVIDIA's initial batch of drivers. So you can see that it's going neck and neck with a GDX 780, which is really, really good performance when you consider the price that this 970 is coming in at. 
Let's now talk about the thermal. So for this, I put both of the cards in Fermark and ran it for 15 minutes, four times MSA, 1080p. Now the MSA Gaming 4G GDX 970 went up to 64 degrees Celsius and that was at 46% fan speed. The EVGA Classified GDX 780 went up to 77 degrees Celsius and that was at 61% fan speed, so higher temps and higher fan speed. And that just gives you an idea of the uh, thermal efficiency of the GDX 970 over the previous generation uh, GDX 780. In conclusion, this card is absolutely amazing. It goes neck and neck with the GDX 780, and that's on its initial set of drivers. Not only that, but it has amazing thermal efficiency, as it only went up to 64 degrees Celsius in my Fermark torture testing. And when it's only on low loads, the fans will be turned off anyways, so it's going to be completely silent. Not only that, but it has amazing power efficiency, which means it'll be saving you money in the long term, and it has all the features that we talked about earlier. And all of that being said, it's coming in at an amazingly low price to hit that perfect price to performance threshold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Playtech TV. Please like the video and I'll see you guys next time.